guys, Midget here, bringing you another Walking Dead video review. Today is episode 11, called Claimed. You know, this episode was by far the most intense of the season. Um, you know, it's competing now too far gone, and even, even better, I guess, you know, even more. It's even more intense than uh, too far gone. You know, this video, apologies if it is quite short, because I saw the episode, I didn't see it how I normally see it. You know, you, you'd still see it at the same time, because unfortunately yesterday I couldn't um, upload it, um, but you still, no, it is, like, the, this is, not right now, is the normal time I would upload, um, I couldn't record this yesterday, although I saw the episode yesterday, a different time from when I normally see it, so, the notes are going to be quite shorter, because I was, um, you know, it was quite late, um, it was like, 10 when I, 10 p.m., when I started watching it, so I finished the notes by, like, uh, 11, um, and that's because, um, I, I decided not to go downstairs at 9, you know, and watch it, and then come upstairs, and everything. I decided to watch it on a stream, you know, the, like, on, um, the Walking Dead UK, uh, Facebook page, post the stream, um, and you can watch it there. So I decided to watch that, you know, but I had to do all my videos before, so I decided to, you know, to do that first. But, so, so apologies if this, like, video is quite shorter than usual, because I don't have that many notes. It starts off with Tara and Abraham killing some walkers, um, like, you know, and Abraham looks a bit dodgy, you know, ta he tells Tara not to, you know, use the gun, so he starts, you know, hitting every single one, and then when he, like, pokes the, um, crowbar through the last walker, it, like, takes, like, three hits, when he proper smashes it into the thing, doesn't it, um, when he, he has to, like, smash it with the gun, um, before that one, his crowbar gets stuck, and you can see he's, like, having trouble pulling it out, so, uh, that, that's a potential weakness right there, you know, you never know. Um, and then you see Michonne and Carl eating cereal, you know, Carl's good because, um, you know, they talk about life and, you know, Michonne's like, you know, starting to cheer up a bit, you know, being more human again, and then Carl says, uh, something about Judith, like, calling her Judith, uh, calling the baby Judith or something, um, I can't remember, um, and then he just, like, he gets caught up on his own words and just rushes out, um, Michonne talks to, like, you know, Rick later on, and she's basically saying, like, uh, Rick is thanking her for being his best friend because he can't be a father and a best friend. And Michonne, you know, just takes him out, uh, not hunting, but scavenging supplies, basically. And that they, like, make a time where they uh, should meet. Well, not, not meet, at what time they will come back, basically. And um, Glenn wakes up and asks Tara uh, if they pass the bus. And Tara's like, yeah, we did, but so he gets mental, you know, he starts getting the gun and trying to smash the window, you know, um, for the truck to stop, and eventually it does stop after he cracks the window a little bit, um, so he, t he says he's going, but, you know, they, they, they don't believe him, you know, so, um, they're like, where are you going, Washington, this is massive, ass scene, until, um, until Tara says, you know, we can have marked every single turn, we can go back there, you know, she says everybody's dead, but, and Abraham's like, even if your wife's alive, there's no chance of you finding her ever, so he, um, he punches Abraham, and then they have this little fight, uh, which was quite funny, you know, you know, the girls pawned them off, it was like a proper bar fight, you could say, you know, the girl's just like, get off my hubby, get off my husband, you know, um, when, uh, you know, the men are fighting, and then Eugene is like, the walker's start coming out of the cornfield, and Eugene is like, just, you know, get mad, start shooting the walkers, spraying them until they, they stop fighting and stuff, Glenn, and, uh, uh, you know, Abraham, basically. Um, Michonne and Carl go look for supplies, uh, while they're out, um, Rick goes to sleep and wakes up to people in his house, you know, he just hears loud banging and stuff, you know, he was about to wake up, but it was kind of intense because I didn't know if he was going to wake up, you know. Because, um, I'm going to attempt to do what he did, but it might not work. So, um, this is basically what he did. He started going, like, his eyes, like, started moving, right? I don't know if you can't catch that, but, you know, his eyes started moving like he was going to wake up. Until something bangs, and then he finally does wake up. So, possibly they're the hunters right now. We do not know, and um, Rick, you know, he tries to, like, find some way, but he doesn't manage to, because one's already walking up the stairs, so he hides under the bed, and, uh, Michonne, re while thinking, well, while, uh, the, get her, uh, you know, she gets that crazy cheese, uh, she tries to, like, make Carl look, um, 
You know, she tries to make him laugh, but then she doesn't, and she gets really miserable. And Carl says he was laughing on the inside. And, um, yes, I think, I can't remember, he asks her, or she tells him about her, um, her past, basically a child. And she, she's like, why, why did you never tell me? Have you told anybody? And she goes, no. So he's like, your secret's um, fine with me. But uh, she's like, it's not really a secret. No, she just didn't tell anybody. I think it was like Andre. Andre, I think it was his name. Um, so uh, the later on, um, Carl says, I hope Andre and uh, Judith are in a good place together. And it makes Michonne quite, you know, emotional. You know, losing a child in the first... She said, Carl asked when she lost him and she... And, um, and she went, it started after it started, or something along those lines, you know. Um, but uh, Rick almost escapes, basically. Um, he goes into the bathroom to see, I don't know what it was, because it looked like there was another person hiding, but it also looked like, um, uh, you know, a, a hunter, you know, having a crap, basically. But he didn't, the, if you saw the, like, the door, well, no, the toilet doors, see, thing, no, not seat, the toilet door, whatever you call it, I forgot what you call it, um, shuttle, I don't know, uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's a basic thing, and I don't know, um, it was closed, so he wasn't having a crap, so he's either hiding, but possibly, yeah, um, and, um, Rick ha beats him up, and it was, like, one of the most intense moments right there, because of the fact that, like, you know how Rick's, uh, physically, you know, like, he's not as strong as he used to be, um, but for the facts that he's, you know, he's got the physical damage, um, he almost, like, over him at one point, and there was, like, scissors right there for him to just go grab him and put it at Rick's eye, and I thought it was going to happen, man, he got so close, he's like, say the scissors there, he's like, oh, scrabble along, he just couldn't quite catch it, he touched the scissors, but he couldn't quite catch him until Rick finally killed him, and walked out the door, um, so then, Michonne goes into the, basically, this was, episode was full of, you know, back to back, Rick, Michonne, Rick, Michonne, Rick, Michonne, Glenn, you know, um, Rick, uh, was it Rick? No, Michonne goes into this door because, uh, Carl gives her a canvas, you know, a picture canvas, um, so she goes, um, into this room where she believes there's walkers and, you know, it's like a room for a room for a room, and then the last room, like, I thought, I was, I was doing this because I was quite scared that walkers going to jump out, I'm not actually scared, but it's, I hate, like, jump scares, you know, I'm not into that kind of stuff, I'm into horror generally, but I'm not into jump scares or like, or like where, um, e even the smallest thing, like where, um, say there's like s someone bad, you know, someone like a demon and they have their eyes closed and you just suddenly open them. I get, like, when it's like, you know, really close like this, I guess, I, I get scared, so I don't like, you know, jump outs, uh, jump scares or anything like that. And she like gets quite emotional over when uh, she sees five walkers in one room, but they're like already dead. You know, they, two of them get put um, in one bed, two in the other, and one just like laying down. I presume that's the whole family. Uh, you know, they like die basically. You know, hands uh, together, and then she really panics and closes the door. Um, and Carl asks her what was that, and she's like, don't go in there, and he goes, it was a baby, wasn't it, and he's like, no, it was a dog, um, so that was a really intense scene, and basically, um, basically, while Abraham is, like, fixing the tank, I presume, I think it is, um, Abraham is fixing the tank, Glenn goes to look for Maggie, um, and Tara follows him, and then Rosita follows Tara, basically, because she's like, what, am I, what else am I going to do, because uh, Eugene, by accident, apparently shot the tank, you know, um, so Eugene goes, um, let's follow them, we'll stick with them until we find another vehicle, and then uh, Abraham was like, why, and Eugene was like, trust me, I'm smarter than you, and that was a bit dodgy from his part, you know, if I was, like, told that in an, ap an apocalypse, not only an apocalypse, but, like, there's no rules in that world at the moment. I'd beat him up for not calling me dumb and for being really dodgy, you know, because you don't know what he means by that. You know, he is a really dodgy character, in my opinion, Eugene. You know, the mullet, it's just amazing. Um, but he goes, trust I'm smarter than you. So um, Tara again talks to Abraham and, and she calls him a good man. You know, he's like, uh, Rosita will follow you anywhere, but the doctor's dodgy or something. I keep saying dodgy, but that's what she says basically along those lines. Um, and, you know, and Glenn just wants to find his thingy, and uh, so Rick gets out of the house, but the hunting is, like, on the bank balcony whistling, and, um, at one point he starts spitting, you know, and I thought he might have just seen Rick, you know, he's just playing along with him, and Rick's just there, like, go away, 
you know, you know, but he sees Carl and Michonne approaching at real pace. That's like, um, so the hunter finally goes inside because the most cliche thing happens and his friend gets, you know, attacked by a walker, so he has to run in. And um, at the exact point where, you know, Michonne's coming, you know what? I didn't get it. But then, then uh, Rick and his crew make a run for it. And then, you know, a couple of minutes later, again, they cross, cross paths with, uh, with Tyrese and Daryl um, and Maggie. And I think it was Maggie, maybe not 100%. But I know Maggie will be there soon, because from the trailer. Um, they go, go past the trail tracks, and they see the Sanctuary poster, and Rick's just like, all out, let's go, you know? Like, he's got nothing to lose, because he really hasn't, you know? He's been through so much crap already. Um, he may as well just go and see what it's like, you know? Um, but, so, that, this was this episode is absolutely stunning, you know? It's a big turnaround from last week's episode, because, like, n not being sexist here, but last week's episode was edited, oh sorry, directed by a woman, and I think women aren't into really zombies and stuff, and I, you know, I wouldn't say I, it's, this show's all about zombies, so it shouldn't be, but that episode was absolutely boring, like, um, I think women tried to take it too steadily, you know, like, no walkers, just talk as much as possible, when there needs to be some action, and some, you know, intensity, some action, some, you know, uh, character development, some talking, you know, it was all in this episode, that's why I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, simply because it was all out the best episode in the season so far, you know, if not, I'm still going to give it a 10 if it's the same as uh, Too Far Gone, but those two episodes are absolutely amazing, you know, I absolutely loved them, I might give it a 9, but I think I'll stick with a 10, okay, I'm going to give it a 9.5, but I'm just going to go to a 10, um, so yeah, now let's move on to the questions, is Sanctuary a death trap? Is it the Hunters from the comics? Well, I, I haven't read the comics, so I don't know what the Hunters are. I, I know they're cannibals, um, and I think I've seen them in uh, the, the game, The Walking Dead, you know, uh, because, but it, this time it's the brothers, you know, in The Walking Dead game. But I think Sanctuary is a death trap, um, but it might not be. I'm like 60% sure that it is, and 40% and that it isn't, because those think about it, those who arrive survive, it just sounds like a death trap to me, um, you know, it might, it just doesn't sound right, to be honest, you know, why would people do this, you know, when they've lost loved ones, they're just going to get hardened, you know, there's no point of having that, you know, it's probably cannibals and all that, um, did Eugene shoot the oil tank on purpose, and this is debatable, you know, because, um, he's like, he's already got a backup plan, you know, he's smarter than him, he already insists that, so he might as well have just, you know, um, shot on purpose, so to go with Glenn, backstab him somewhere, and take the vehicle, or, or whatever he wants to do, um, and the final one is, um, is Michelle next to die, or is it, or is she the next Daryl, as in, basically, um, because of all the character development she's had, you know, Herschel died, because of that character development, you know, we know so much about him, he had to die, or will it be like Daryl, where he's got so much character de development, sorry, but he's not dead, you know, because it's Daryl, it's a fan favourite, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm sort of 50-50 on this one, because, um, I'm sure most, you know, everyone, um, doesn't want everyone to die, basically, you know, even the smaller ca smallest ca character like Beth, um, I, I saw some comments on videos, if Beth dies, we riot, like, uh, if Glenn dies, we write, you know, they don't want anybody dead, so in that case, I don't think, you know, she's gonna die, but, um, I think The Walking Dead could work without her, you know, it would be, um, very, it, had to, it would have to be a very honourable death, but I think it would work without her in one way or another, so the people would still watch if she died, um, but I don't know if she's next Daryl, I'd say she's half Daryl, half there, so she's safe at the minute, if you say, um, 100% is safe, and 0% is definitely dead, she's around 50%, so, I guess she's got a chance of going either way, um, but mainly I think she will stay, uh, because she is a season regular in season 5, I think, so I think she will stay, unless she dies in season 5, but, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed my review, guys, um, um, you know, give it a like if you want to, so, again, this is Midget, and I'm going to see you guys next time.